One word that'll describe Mozzie. Untouchable, unfuckable. Blotada. Fella. Very unique. I see him as a legend, you know what I'm saying? Gamed up, very creative, and uh, he's good at painting pictures. I say, a brother. You know, I don't look at him as no, no but nothing else. That's really my brother. Anything we, that we need or he need from me, you know, I'm always one call away. Same, vice versa from him. Mozzie, that's, that's, that's family. <laughs> Children of the slums, man, uh, I just had to tap in with the youth, man. You know, a nigga was a, a child of this shit. A lot of niggas, uh, I ain't have a choice. Niggas got to choose where they from. And so, you know, uh, being a child from the slums, I feel like, you know, you, you, you had a disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? Me, it ain't too many opportunities. It's for the dream chasers. It's for the niggas stuck in the trenches that's still dreaming. You feel me? And uh, as a dream chaser, as an active dream chaser, I felt like I had to dedicate something to, you know, to my youth. I think California rap scene without Mozzie would be fake because before it wasn't like cool to be yourself and talk about your struggles. I think uh, a lot of people, they give you like a false, a false identity. Now it's like the realness of being like fucked up is all right. Yeah, you know I mean, it, and showing people like your battle and your struggle. So I think it would just be a lot of fakeness. I think that, uh, I think that just trickled down a lot of people to just be real with themselves in music. If your granddaddy and grandmama ain't, you know what I'm saying, me lived on, yeah, you're not a child of the slums, nigga. And we don't know your mama, auntie, uncles, or none of that, nigga. You're not a child of the slums, nigga. If you ain't attend none of the gangsta shit that we, yeah, you're not a child of the slums, nigga. If the nigga at Boss Market don't know who you is, nigga, by first and last name, back, you're not a child of the slums, nigga. Nigga, on the you day. Know the playback, nigga, Father Keep It Kenny and Kit Carson, nigga. You're not a child of the slums, nigga. Yeah. Hey, hey, so how can someone be a child of the slums? Is this like a membership or what? Nah, you it ain't really no membership. You, you can't sign up for the shit. Be okay. Born in and not sworn in it. Say it again. You gotta be born in and not sworn in it. Yeah. Uh, once I met, bro, his energy unmatched, bro. We could be in a party somewhere. He's screaming, that's my fella, fat lion. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He, he keeps right. the same energy, man. He's very respectful, right. uh, very solid individual. And I can see why, you know what I'm saying? His career was flourishing, bro, because he got that spark about him. Started off as money money over Zay Zay Youngin. So basically us in the hood, gathering the youth, pushing them to chase currency instead of the bullshit. And you know, this is, this is what it is. So it ain't no gang. You know, it's a gang of niggas with full currency. Gang of niggas with currency. It ain't no gang. It's just a gang of niggas with currency. So, you know how we push that? It's just another motive uh, outside the niggas gang banging. So look, it's something better for you to do. You can get in the booth and rap. You can go push CDs. You can operate differently instead of throwing up gang signs and nailing niggas to the pavement. This new, this new shit, body slamming shit. It's been a minute, uh, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Me a delay of gang. What's that, a 10 yard penalty? Something like that, whatever the case, uh, and uh, you know, I I, I, I kind of re-rocked it. I had hella features on that motherfucker, swiped them off, nigga, threw my little, you know what I'm saying, singular joints on there, and uh, I'm, I'm vibing with it. Initially, it was all right. Now, nigga, that motherfucker brazy, you feel me? I feel like, in terms of Northern California, Mozzie probably, like, made clear what the culture was all about on a bigger level than anybody else that you can really look at from like the current crop of relevant rappers for sure i feel like he he's kind of crossed over to a certain extent where so many people from la and, and outside of california in general have a shitload of respect for him and see they, they understand the culture up north a bit better through seeing it through him uh nigga emily from 12 nigga she is the child of the slums G-O-D, you feel me? Nigga used to be at that community center, nigga fucking with her on a daily basis. And uh, nigga, she died while I was in jail. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Me and uh, I'm mad at the hood because them niggas didn't send me no obituary. Good looking gang, man, appreciate you. Yeah, niggas didn't send me no obituary, nigga, so I feel some type of way, but you know, that was my thug life, man. Real day one, not a dead go, sandbox before the wood chips, all the hood shit. Right, 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 right. Growing up with Lil Tim in Oak Park, man, you know that shit was wild. Like, bro, we was just, nigga, it was a child of the child of the slums. Like, everything just was amazing with bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, the hustle was just tremendous. 
And and before I even knew about the music, like, you know, bro was popping up with the DVDs of his uncle. Like, I'm like, what's this? He's like, I'm trying to give it away for free. I'm finna sell these motherfuckers. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, hell yeah. Question. Why we don't hear that, um, that, 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 um, excuse me, Mozzie, that, you feel me, round and round, Mozzie, like, uh. Um, oh, you know about that shit? Yes, sir. Um, and you have a lot of female fans, bro. Like, I think more of your fan base are females than men. That's if you ask me. Yeah. Because I know a lot of females that listen to you in general. Like, why you don't flirt over in that lane much more? No, nah, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I think, like I said, nigga, I've been, uh, I've been held back for a couple months. You know what I'm saying? Me trying to get my shit together. And, uh. So I gotta give them that 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 game related Mozzie. I gotta give them that pain Mozzie. I gotta give them that therapeutic. You know, I'm 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 like a therapist to a lot of a lot of my fan base, man, and they fuck with it on that type of time. But uh, I'm doubling back right after this project, nigga, with some particularly for particularly for the vibes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes, so yes, I got sir. a handful of shit for the vibes, most definitely. Shout yeah. out my year years. I see him as a legend. You know what I'm saying? Future legend for sure. He gonna he already made his mark and his staple in the game. I feel like he gonna be, you know, solidified as one of them, the one, one of them OGs of the game and shit. I remember the first time I heard Mozzy music, it was a pond of mine had played me blotted up. I had heard a little Tim, but I didn't correlate the two until later. And the first thing that struck me was just the the authenticity of it and somebody that wasn't afraid to rap about not just being on top, but what niggas really go through every day. Not what is fabricated, but what is actual real life from the goods to the bad and everything that, that deals with the streets like. I look at it, children of the slums represent poverty, the less fortunate kids that ain't able to do certain shit that everybody ain't able to do. So coming from the slums, you know, it's, it's so much you can do inside the hood rather than outside the hood. So, you know, children of the slums just represent those who coming up from the trenches. We happen to be the uh, living proof, you know, this shit. It can happen. What set Mozzie apart from other rappers in the industry is we got to really watch him go from long white t-shirt, Lil' Tim, to Mozzie. Like, we literally watched him turn into that. And so it's just amazing to see where he came from and who he's become. How's it been seeing Mozzie's growth uh, the last few years? It's been wonderful. I love to see somebody, uh, you know what I'm saying, from the inner city um that you know that beat the odds and uh you know and um and doing this thing you know uh, i believe he's a i hear that he's a good businessman he buys property and stuff like that and you know just to see a, a, a somebody that looked like me my color and somebody that's from the trenches from the octagon uh you know do things like that it, it makes me feel proud so i'm a congratulator i ain't never been a hater to me children of the slums um i think that it is just a reminder of what's going on in everyday world. I think that a lot of people portray a certain image on social media and stuff. And uh, I think this project just like reminds people of the reality of what's really going on in the world. I think there's a ghetto in everywhere. Every 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 city, every state got a ghetto. And uh, I think this story is really just a story. Everybody's story. You know what I mean? This, everybody can relate to it. You know, outside the music, a nigga genuinely want to see my young progress. I want to see my young blossom. I hate for you to be the one to get bland with a sentence. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, you know, that's that's what it is. I, I, I grab these niggas. I actually grab them. I go to the trenches, grab them, put them in a studio. Nigga, take them niggas on tour. You know what I'm saying? Offer chicken to them for their for they music, knowing that that motherfucker had never recoup. But I'm, I feel like this is this is the way I could give back. This is the way I can get these niggas an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Me and, uh, just enlighten them. Some niggas never been outside of Sacramento, let alone Oak Park. So uh, for them niggas to touch down in LA or a nigga jump on the road with us and beat up Minnesota, see see what Kansas City look like. You know, they go on tour and bust a bitch open and move in with her. Or a nigga, they go on tour, nigga, and, and get a verse for the first time, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and see that they can really generate some type of chicken or income from, from this particular field. So, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm hands on with this shit versus screaming. Passion, work ethic, um, just, he's a poet, you know what I mean? It's like, he, he finds a way to tap into the inner pain and the struggle that we go through. Like, beautiful struggle, is a, it's, it says it all. 
you know, after, and after you meet him, you understand because there's a lot of people I know who coming from the streets, they might be rappers or they might be street dudes, but there's not many that, that are actually, when I say both, there's a lot of great rappers that are from the streets, but there's not, I don't know too many that are that authentic from the good, the bad, the ugly, but also are going to do all the work. You know what I mean? Like, one thing you're not going to do is outwork Mozzie in any way whatsoever. Five years from now, man, I just, I, I see my team on, man. I see my team on. I see us participating in the, in the industry. You feel me? On some, on some, on some, on some, on some, on some slum feeling shit, though. On some, on some grimy shit. On some cracking the gates for, for, for regular real niggas. You feel me? Five years from now, still a regular real nigga, man, but you know, the little chicken McNucket gang up. That's it. Oh, my mama.